Happy New Year. Today I want to talk to you about one simple statement that can help transform your new year. This morning I was getting ready and I said to myself, you know, Steph, that's just who you are today. It's not who you are forever. And I'll tell you, it has taken me literally years to be that, that kind and that graceful to myself. You know, when I was getting ready, I was thinking of some things um, that I want to change. You know, I was kind of in the pregame to my private time. <laughs> I know that sounds a little bit peculiar, but I was just thinking about some things. And my mindset used to be this. Steph, you'll never change. Steph, see, this is just who you are. This is who you'll always be. For example, if I binge, a common thought after a binge would be, see, you're a failure, you'll never change. If I decided to yell at the fingster, see, Steph, your anger issue, you'll never resolve it. It's just who you are. If I'm impatient with the boys, this is, this is what I would say. See, you're just an impatient person. And, and these are all lies. And the reason why I wanted to talk to you today about this is because I see a lot of people struggle along with me about it. You know, it says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, that anyone who's in Christ is a new creation. And I've shared with you before that I've struggled with this Bible verse. And the reason I've struggled with this Bible verse is because I didn't believe it was true. I didn't believe I was a new creation because I didn't feel like a new creation. And sometimes our feelings, we can't trust them. And I'll tell you why. Our feelings go up and down and up and down and up and down. And God... God, God doesn't have an up and down type of response. God is steady. God is true. God is pure. God is love. And you know, something that I struggled with is, okay, so I'll never change. Well, that's not true. And this morning, I actually delighted that I, uh, my brain, you know, after you've done a habit for so many times, it can change. And my brain actually told myself this, Steph, this is just who you are today. It's not forever. And the reason I believe that's true is because I do believe I'm a new creation in Christ. And that God and that visual just speak so, so loud to my inner woman of that I'm clay in the potter's hands and that he's molding and shaping me into not, not, not some supermodel, into, into God's image and the image that he has designed and crafted for me. So two things I want to encourage you with today with that same statement. If you feel as though you've been unkind to yourself, I want to ask you, stop it. God loves you. He made you. He thinks you're amazing and fabulous. Believe it because it's true. doesn't mean that you have to be self-indulgent and just um, like narcissistic. Just know that the God of the universe created you. He loves and adores you just as you are today, but because he loves you so grand. Tomorrow, he's going to ask something different from you. You know why? Because he loves you and he's molding you and shaping you into who you need to be for his purposes. So if you've been unkind to yourself, if you have a habit you don't particularly like about yourself, just accept yourself for who you are today. I didn't say get stagnant, just accept for who you are today. So this is who I am today, but it's not going to be who I am tomorrow because I believe God is with me and for me. Or if there's someone in your life that you just need to take off the hook, give them grace and say, you know what, this is just who... Steph is today. I pray this isn't who she's going to be tomorrow because I believe God is with her and for her. And I hope in that moment, and I believe in that moment, that you'll sense a, a release or a peace about it. Because I know if you gained five pounds over the holidays, it's just what you weigh today. It's not going to be who you are forever. Now, there's going to be work that comes alongside that. It's not going to just happen and fall out of the sky. But a realistic thought to an idealistic thought, that's where freedom's found. That's where Christ is found. I hope you have a happy new year. And I am going to be doing more video casts throughout the year. I don't know how many, but I am going to do some more. I, I wish you a very happy new year. And, and believe that if this is who you are today, it's not going to be who you are tomorrow.